Welcome back to Fixing with Friends. I'm your host, that guy you know, and today we're going to be working on the Datsun once more. The dash is still off. It'll be the vent selector wasn't working, so I'll show you the repair for that, and also I'm replacing the HVAC uh, hoses or lines, and uh, not using standard ones, so you can see what that's like. If you're enjoying the video, be sure to like and subscribe if you see more, and let's jump into it. Just quickly, one more thing before we start. Some exciting news. Uh, Phantom NK, I believe that's how it's said. I don't really know. I'm not that familiar with these things. Um, the artist has given us permission to use their music in our videos, which is great. I am a little bit concerned that it's going to make the videos a bit too epic. Um, but anyway, the music's really great. I've put a link to the iTunes page in the description, so if you want to buy those videos, feel free. However, you know, we're obviously not associated with them, so that shouldn't even need to be said. Anyway, to the work. We will check some of the other systems to make sure they're working. It could just be that I have a vacuum leak, but when you adjust this to the different fan settings, the vents don't switch all the time, and they also don't get good airflow. So likely it's these vacuum valves, or actuators, I suppose, which connects to a flap so effectively. So anyway. Um, yeah, those may not be opening because there's not enough vacuum, or they could be broken, so I'll take a look at that. So, I'm not really sure what this metal clip is for. It doesn't actuate anything, it just flexes. And, so this actuator pulls the clip up, and the spring should pull it back down, but since it just wobbles, it doesn't do anything. My thought is it's supposed to be fixed, so the spring will actually retract it. There's two holes in here, one screw there, one empty hole, and it just wiggles. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. I don't know. I kind of doubt it, though. I think I figured it out. This little black thing that's kind of folded up out of place. Try and hold it down for you. Looks like it used to hold this in and it's broken. So if I fix that, it should improve the system a little bit. Whether or not that's a cause of any problem, I kind of doubt. I haven't had much luck with adhesives in the past. I'm sure it could be done, but I'd really rather not have to fix it twice. And I know that if I pull this off and replace it with a bolt, I won't have to. That is if I can even get that off. straight through. It is not. This is not going to work as straight as I would like. It's a bit crooked, but it's also quite thin, so it doesn't really matter. been better, but a smaller one will do. There we go. Washer is in. It was. 
I don't know if it'll work, but it has to pull pretty darn hard. We'll see. Simplify everything. Um, I want to show you. So this hose has like a foam seal on it. I'm tempted to just replace the entire hose because of how dirty it is. Um, and this the old foam, just the way it degrades and because of how it's made, it just dissolves into this fine powder. So no matter how, yeah, you can see it better there. No matter whether or not you clean it up or, and put it back in, it's still going to start blowing this out as dust at you. So it is really tempting to replace. Whether or not I can find, I could probably find some sort of flexible hose. All right, let's look at these. See what these ones are like. These don't seem too bad. You can just wash them out. It's these ones. that are more concerning. So I was going to vacuum this, try and get rid of some of the dirt, but uh, apparently there's only half a vacuum. So I'm going to wipe it down as best I can, and yeah, hopefully there'll be a little less dust, but it's still going to be dusty regardless. I think that's enough cleaning for you to watch. So I picked up some vacuum hose for a heater line. Uh, two different sizes. This one's one and a quarter, which is a little small. Um, and the other one's one and seven eighths, which is just shy of two inches, which is what you need. Ideally, I'd just buy more off of Rock Auto, because it's like 60 cents a foot, and then they're the right size and variety, but that takes a while. Doing this. Oh, I could buy it from Napa, but you can get eight feet of vacuum hose for the same price as one foot of heater hose. So. And just one 
contact. Excellent. So I'm a little annoyed. This hose clearly says one and seven eighths. But it's also clearly the inner diameter is only an inch and a half, not an inch and seven eighths. So instead of going outside of it, it's enjoying itself more than it should. out a little bit on that one and out of, if you're curious so this hose on the right is actually much better quality than the one on the left which is too small this one was listed as an inch and a quarter and it's an inch and a quarter um, my guess is they went by I don't know see it just doesn't Maybe if you go by the outer diameter, it's an inch and seven eighths, but yeah, not, not really. Oh well, I'll figure something out. I'm going to try and pick up some water for the coolant right now and then hopefully we can get the car back together before it gets dark, which is in about three hours. So let's see how that goes. So the tool I was going to use wasn't in stock and I wasted an hour walking around the store looking for it because it said it was there. Uh, and so did the person, but it's not there. Um, anyway, I don't really have enough time to finish things today, so I may have to just pick it up tomorrow afternoon. Drive all the way back out here. Fun. So I kind of have a solution. I uh, heated up the hose and kind of expanded it with my hand rather than with a exhaust pipe expander, which was my plan, and then just kind of heat it as I was stretching it. That would work a lot easier. This will have to do. So, I do not recommend doing the hoses this way. If you can, find the right size hose, and again, if you want to use the heater hose, you can find it at an auto parts store. But if you are going to use the vacuum hose, find the right size. It's about two inches for the wider diameter and an inch and a quarter for the smaller one. The smaller one I have fits pretty well. I just had to heat it a little bit just to make it easier to slide on. Um, and if that's all you're doing, that's fine, but again, whenever you're heating plastic, it's not exactly the healthiest thing. Um, but, you know, if you don't care about that, then whatever.
whatever. All right, so here's a rough mock-up of what it's supposed to look like before I put the dash on, just so you can see. Alright, that's today's video. The next video I'll be putting out this week is just some clips that I missed incorporating into a prior video. It's just showing the removal of the gauges. So you can see how that's done and what the back of the dash looks like a little bit more. If there's any content that you prefer, let me know because we have a lot of footage that needs to be edited and then put out and it just keeps stacking up to the point that some of the opportunities I've had to film, I've just been like, I don't care because <laughs> we're so far behind. I apologize, the videos have been a little bit slow lately. Unfortunately, there's been some just life stuff that's come up. And also, I've been working on a couple of other project videos that aren't up yet, and they will be soonish. So if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, and see you guys next time.